All right, so I've got this 261 back on the bench. Nothing wrong with it. Um, this is the saw that I featured in my Why You Should Run Anything But Steel Ultra. So this is Daniel's saw. He decided to switch oils. I've seen the internals of his engine. Um, the reason why it's back is he's got two that he just picked up. They run. He just wants me to service them, check them out. But what we're going to do is we're going to pop the top end off of this and see. Now he's only run a couple of tanks of gas of this, so I don't expect to see any carbon cleanup necessarily. Um, but we do want to check to see if the new oil is... Uh, leaving a little bit more film strength, keeping the crankcase and the bearings well lubricated like it's supposed to. And yeah, that's the same saw. And like I said, very, very short term look see. A couple of tanks through it. All right, so at first glance, we still got some of the carbon glazing left over from Steel Ultra. Looks like it's cleaning up a little tiny bit. You guys can flip back over to that other video and uh, take a look, see, I've done just a little bit of tear down, just so you don't have to watch me take apart the carb and the intake and, and all that. Let's go ahead and pop the jug off and see what we find inside. Uh, today's 4th of July, happy Independence Day, everybody. Uh, look out. I don't know who put that on so tight. All right, before we lose these screws into a, well, that one doesn't want to go anywhere. This one wants to launch into Never Never Land. Let's hold on to that. All right, gonna be a little tricky here. You got to remove this keeper for the shroud. Throw this off to the side. There we go. Easier to do this if you pull the top handle. Hey, looks like the crankcase is cleaned up just a little bit. I don't have as much residue now like i said this has only been a couple of tanks i'm not expecting miracles but we look down in there some of that staining that was on the crankcase okay and we've got a nice sheen of oil on the piston much better than the dry as a popcorn fart Let's take a look at our carbon on the, it looks, I like that the light's shining off of that. You know, maybe we got rid of a little bit of carbon. Um, you know, this is an Mtronic saw. You'll see the wiring harness right there. And here's where, I mean, so it's not like this is tuned differently. We're just running 40 to one of better oil. Um, let's look down in here. Let's see if I can't. Still a little bit of staining on the crankshaft from the older, earlier carbon. But you see that connecting rod and that bearing has got like a nice shiny film on it. Uh, let's take a look at the jug. Now, there was some very light performance work that was done to this. No machine work. We just put some nostrils in. Uh, looks like we've cleaned up a little bit of the combustion chamber. Nice to see. And let's take a look at the exhaust port. I'm going to have to do this on its side. Um, flashlight. And this was just a quick widening of, that might be too much light, of the intake port. But you know, all that was ground clean, so we don't have any carbon buildup. 
in there. All right, I'll pause the video for a second just to go back and take a look and see what's really changed from when the saw came to me and you know the results, the after effects of having uh, two or three tanks of 40 to one mix through the engine. Uh, you know, and this is from my original video right there. You'll see that. Uh, on a side note, guys, thanks so much. I'm up to 788 subscribers. Let's take a look over here at my analytics. Um, so I've got my watch hours. And help me out a little bit, fellas. Need a little something there. All right, let's get back to chainsaws. Uh, I think we can easily say that this is a repeatable. Go back and look, and when I tore down my 046, and I'm seeing the same thing in an old carbureted saw as I am in a newer Mtronic electronically tuned chainsaw. I'm gonna try and get you down in here and we're gonna see the same repeatable results. There's a little bit of, let me take you in a little bit tighter. If I get the light just so, there it is. You see, there's a thin coating of oil in there. Look how shiny that rod bearing is. That's important, man. I'm telling you, you know, work on this stuff. I don't sell oil. I'm not here to pitch anybody's brand. You know, your bearings are going to be coated. 50 to 1 is absolutely perfectly fine for upper cylinder lubrication. I see this repeatedly at 50 to 1 where you just don't have enough oil in the crankcase. Those bearings are spinning crazy fast. And without adequate lubrication, you're going to lose your bottom end. That's expensive. Um, reviewing the video, I did notice that the carbon buildup that was all dry and powdery and caked on before is starting to fade away. And again, this is just a couple of tanks. You know, same thing in here. This, you know... A lot of that dried up, caked on. I was here. Let's, you know, there's dang it. Come on. There we go. Um, it's not as dried and cakey as it was, whether that's the oil or just a sheer matter of the uh, 40 to 1 lubricant. So I've got some base gaskets for my 046, and we'll use that as a test mule. I don't want to start off doing anything crazy with, uh, you know, unobtainium or you know, hard to find oil, something you have to mail order. I want something, just real world results. Go to your local saw shop, go to a big box store and be able to buy some two stroke oil, mix it up, at 40 to one and let's see how those do after a handful of tanks and see if that same 40 to one recipe delivers that film strength where you've actually got some bottom end protection <clears throat> let me know what you think this is just what i think this is what i see from working on people's equipment and we'll kind of continue this a little bit as we go i'm obviously you know i do repairs and uh, try and sneak in a video here and there when I feel like there's something worthwhile to, to look at. Um, let me know what you want me to do next. Um, I've always got something different in the shop, so leave some comments. And uh, let me know what you want to see, because we can do just about anything. If you want to see some more performance work, I've got a 572 XPG that's brand new in the box and we're going to do some performance work to it i've got another 660 that we're doing we're going to go a much hotter build it's not going to be an everyday saw so it's uh customers ask for uh as much go fast as he can get with still a little bit of reliability well with with some reliability so anyway thanks y'all for watching happy fourth of july and we'll see you on the next one